Welcome to the video lecture series on Six Sigma and Lean Six Sigma. In this video, we will look through some practical simulated case studies and questions and answers and Six Sigma and Lean Six Sigma analyze phase. I also request you to watch my videos on Six Sigma analyze phase. Without much delay, let's start this journey. As always, I am your instructor Gunjan Subedi and this is my Lean University. Your freedom to professional learning. Before starting the topic, let me remind you that you can assess the full course on Six Sigma through the link in the description. Please stay with me till the end of this video for solving the Six Sigma questions and link of some free resources. Which among these are more related to root cause analysis? You have to find the right answer. The options are Root cause analysis helps to find the main true cause or the root cause and the cause and effect chain. Root cause analysis helps to find the corrective actions to deal with the root causes of any negative outcome. Root cause analysis helps to set out the system so that such defects once encountered do not get repeated in the future. And root cause analysis helps to find the contributing factors for any positive or negative outcome. Which among these are more related to the root cause analysis? I'll give you some time to think. You can pause the video now. Actually, all are the right answers to this question. Before deciding the answer, let us know the real definition of the root cause analysis. Root cause analysis is a process of finding reasons for any event, be it negative or positive, and funnel it down to the main contributing root cause and also find the corrective actions and also set a system so that such problems do not get repeated in the future. So with root cause analysis, we do not just try to find out the root causes of the problem and go with the cause and effect chain, but we also try to find out the corrective actions and try to set out the system so that such defects once encountered do not get repeated in future. And as the definition says, it also has to find out the contributing factors for any negative or positive outcome. So all the options to these questions are correct. Let us see the second scenario. Here the scenario is an industry related to production of the sports shoes wants to find out whether there is some statistically significant relation between elasticity and the time of chemical treatment of the leather. It wants to conduct a hypothesis test for checking or proving the hypothesis statement that there is some statistical significant relationship between these two parameters. So we want to find out if the elasticity of the leather and time of chemical treatment of the leather are statistically significant. So under this scenario, which of the following statement could be acceptable for alternative hypothesis? The first option, there is no statistical significant relationship between elasticity and time of chemical treatment. Second option, there is a statistical significance between elasticity and time of chemical treatment. Third option, there is little correlation between elasticity and time of chemical treatment. And the last one, there are occasional terms of relationship between elasticity and chemical treatment based on different factors. Which of these could be good alternative hypothesis statement? You can take some time to think for this answer. Okay, let me provide you the answer for this one. The correct answer to this question is option number two. There is statistical significance between elasticity and time of chemical treatment. Alternative hypothesis is the hypothesis that we want to prove. If we want to test the neutrality or association between two terms, then the null hypothesis will be there will be no significant relation between those two terms. 
An alternative hypothesis will always try to show that there is some statistical significance between elasticity and time of chemical treatment. Alternative hypothesis is the hypothesis that we want to test. Let's revise the note. The null hypothesis is the statement of no difference and it is represented by as not. So the null hypothesis for this case would be there is no difference between time of chemical treatment and elasticity of the leather. And the alternative hypothesis is the hypothesis that we want to prove, which says that there is significant statistical relationship. In which phase of the Six Sigma do you try to find out the cause of the problem and also try to validate statistically that the cause is actually one of the main reasons of the problem. So we have five stages in DMAIC phase of the Six Sigma, define, measure, analyze, improve and control. So out of these five phases or steps, we have to find out in which phase we try to find the root cause of the problem and also validate statistically that the cause is one of the main cause or significant cause that is causing the problem. So your options are define, measure, analyze, improve and control. I'll give you some time to think for the answer. For more lessons on Six Sigma, case studies and fun quizzes, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. And also, please go through other related videos on Six Sigma. Also, please do not forget to go through the Six Sigma resources on the description. Thank you so much. Meet you in the next video.